Hello, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Body Chan and the Body Kun Pose models. I'll talk about the different prices, where to get them from, why you might want to buy one, and the good and bad points about them. So let's start off with why you might want one. Well, uh, you can pose these in different poses and different positions and make them fall off the stand and therefore it helps you to draw them in different positions or whatever you might want to do with them. And therefore it can work as a reference so you can see the pose as you're drawing. And yes, I have found it quite helpful. I've been sketching away and looking at the model and it is reasonably helpful looking at the pose and figuring it out where you're going and things. I would definitely say you need some sort of anatomy reference as well as this as your reference for the pose. But it is quite nice being able to pose this into all sorts of positions and be able to draw them straight out. So Gearbest sent these to me and they're at the moment 20 pounds each. They come in a box like this and they come with a base, which I think is quite important, the base, because it would be very difficult to make these stand up without some sort of stand uh, to anchor them. You also get lots of different hands in the sort of bit below, like, um, and weapons and things. So there's a sword, there's a gun, there's a funny sort of tablet, and a computer, a mobile phone, and loads of different little hands. And it's nice that you can change those over so they've got sort of different hand positions, sort of like this and then like this with the grabbing the gun, or like this if they're punching. Like I was saying, the stands are really great because you can also adopt those into different positions as well and move them around. Well, I've just taken them off there. There is quite a sort of delicateness to them in a sense. They're quite responsive. They do stay in position quite well, but if you're trying to pose the model whilst it's on the stand, it sometimes sort of falls off. So you have to sort of pose it, put it onto the stand, then rest it down and you're ready to go. So there's a tiny little hole in the back that you sort of prop onto the stand like that, or you can get this sort of weird hooky thing that sort of hooks them in like so, and sort of makes them stand up like that. I'm not sure why they've got two different options there because they seem to sort of do the same thing, but maybe I'll come across that later and it's very useful, I don't know. So is using one of these going to make you a better artist? I did certainly find it helpful. And I did ask Gearbest to send me some of these because I thought this would be quite an interesting thing to try out. And I am finding them quite fun in terms of just quickly making a pose and then trying to sketch it out. So I'm using it more as a sort of practice tool. But like I say, if you've got a reference image next to you as well, it's quite nice to have that and the model. And then you've got that sort of 3D aspect with the model, sort of seeing how things link together. You can't always get that when you get a reference image. And that's why they always say it's much better to draw from life, which isn't always possible in our particular sort of medium, because we tend to always be doing sort of fantasy creatures or um, weird wacky poses and things. So having something like this in 3D can be really helpful, combined with a good reference image as well. The reference image doesn't have to have this exact pose, but it is helpful just to get the sort of muscular structure. So something that's a similar pose uh, combined with this, perfect. But as always, it's hard work and dedication that makes you a good artist, not things like this. But little things like this can sometimes help you move along as an artist and give you that sort of boost you need into certain directions, particularly if you're a character artist. Now in terms of buying options, Gearbest are usually the cheapest that you can ever come across. But I've seen some of these on eBay for really cheap, but that slightly concerns me because I can imagine there's quite a few things that could go wrong. So if you haven't got the set of hands, that could be quite irritating. Or I did notice that one of the stands was a bit loose and therefore it wouldn't keep its structure very well. So I would suggest buying from a shop where you can easily send it back. I'm not saying all are gonna come with problems, but it's got such minute parts that you're highly likely to get some defects in some models. So although Gearbest are a great place to buy because of their cheap prices, they can take a while to get to you. So it may be that however unlikely it is, you might get a defect one and you have to send it back and you can imagine that would take time. I have got affiliated links to these in the description and they are from Gearbest. You'd be supporting me if you click on those links. But in this case, depending on your time frames and the price you want and everything like that, you may want to go to other places that are a bit more local. So there's lots of good points. Are there any bad points? Well, yes, there are. It doesn't have a really wide range of motion, as you can imagine, because they're kind of dolls, so they get stuck in places and there's a certain point where the shoulder can't go past. They're not as restrictive as something like this wooden mannequin. I wouldn't really suggest these 
to help for poses. I don't think they're particularly useful. I think these are much better. But there will be some poses you just won't be able to push them into or you'll have to twist the hips in a certain way to try and get the legs into that position. And that's not quite anatomically correct. That's why I would say you would certainly want a reference image with this as well. The other thing I have found is that there was a slight sort of looseness to one of the stands and some of the hands have been quite tough to push on. And I can see why, and certainly with the hands, they've made it very difficult to get on because they don't want to, over time, uh, have them sort of just falling off. So originally, or so the first time you get it, they're gonna be tough to put on. And I actually had to sand one down a little bit to make room to get my little hands on my models. But one of the stands being slightly floppy uh, was a bit of a pain. And I had to use this sort of grab uh, section rather than just being able to push it straight on to the back of my uh, stand which I kind of prefer I don't particularly like this grab thing but I can kind of see that it does offer more support and help it stand upright in these different positions so do make sure you check through the product and make sure everything fits and do send it back if it doesn't now I've kind of hinted on the other bad point anyway but in terms of the anatomical correctness you've got a sort of anime figure here so uh, the head uh, size is oversized this sort of anime so in a way it would have been nice if the head was changeable so we didn't have to have an anime face but it's actually quite good because it indents the eyes that bit more so you can see the structure of the head a bit easier so in a weird way that was kind of helping me out the anime look the male model doesn't have that and I would say it's a bit more correct but also when you're pushing these models around into these different positions you can obviously overturn this uh, and it only bends at one point in the waist, so it does sort of lose that correctness in terms of anatomical correctness. Hence, use a reference image at the same time. So I did also mention alternatives. Now, interestingly, it seems that people don't really know how to advertise these models. I'm calling them pose models, but they seem to have lots of different names. And on Gearbest, they were under their uh, toys, baby and kids action figures and then it had sort of movie and TV action figures separate section. So you do have to kind of search around for these kind of models. But interestingly, within that section, there was some quite interesting characters and interesting models. I saw this quite cool Deadpool one, and it was very similar to these in that you could sort of pose it. It didn't have the stand, but it had a sort of more muscular structure to it. And I thought that'd be really useful, as well as something like this, especially if you want to do those sort of comic characters with masks on or uh, kit on. Uh, this was quite good uh, for that sort of thing. So you might want to go down a specific route if you particularly like drawing fan art of Deadpool or whatever it might be. You could then use these sort of figures to draw your own of those. And this model, and I'll put a link in the description, is only £11.24. And it's a fully posable model, much like these. Yes, not having the stand would be a bit of a pain, but I'm sure that you could put down a tiny bit of blue tack and then stick your model onto the top of it. Let's have a go at that now. So there we go, there's some blue tech. I'm sticking them in and it's kind of working. I'm sure if I put another piece of blue tech over here, it would work perfectly. So I think uh, that's very doable for a cheaper price. And if you have a bit of blue tech as well, you can get yours to work in some interesting poses. It'll be difficult to do sort of any flying poses like you can with these models, but I still think for the price and the sort of versatility, that could be really a great option. So the last point I want to make about these models is that it can be sort of quite compelling to think, oh, that will really boost my artwork. All I need to do is get one of these models and then I'm gonna be an amazing artist. I get like that at times. I think, oh, I really need one of those models in order to improve. Now, although these things do help, it's not essential to becoming a good artist. Don't sort of wait around until you can afford one of these before you start sketching. Always be getting out your sketchbook, making mistakes, getting it wrong. One of these will help, but it's not the be all and end all to you being a great artist. So I think that wraps it up. Do remember you can chat to me on the Discord server if you've got any questions about these sort of things, or you can join in some of the competitions there and get your work on the wall of fame if you win that is. And there's a new collaboration section, so maybe you can put something in there and get a team of you working together to make a game. Do also visit my website for free courses on digital modeling. And lastly, thanks for watching and see you next time.